Hi guys, it's David at Humble Trekker. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the, the Humble LK35 Swedish Army rucksack, which has become quite popular around the globe in the bushcraft circles. It comes in at a very low price, you can get it between $10 and $30. In this video I'm going to be trying to help answer the question, is it worth those $10 to $30? The LK-35 was the Swedish Army's issue rucksack from, I believe, the late 70s to around 2000. You can pick them up unissued and used from as low as $10 up to $30, depending on uh, where, you, where you can find them. My personal example, I picked up for $10 and it's unissued. The main feature of it is the metal external frame which I believe is one of the main reasons for its popularity. It's one of the reasons that I purchased it, because I could see a lot of potential ability to modify this pack and strap additional equipment to the outside. It's quite unusual to be able to pick up an external frame pack for as low as only $10. So that's the reason I got it. It's a very basic pack. This model is made out of a canvas material. You do get other ones which are made out of a more plasticky material or more artificial type material. It's essentially just one large bucket pouch that absolutely swallows equipment. It can take, it's got a capacity of 35 litres and I can vouch for that it's at least 35 litres. You can just keep piling more and more gear into this. It's got straps on the top for attaching uh, tents, roll mats or whatever, sleeping bag. It's got the ledge type affair the bottom, which you can also use for attaching equipment to. And what many people see as its downfall is its load bearing method. It only has two shoulder straps, it has no waist strap whatsoever, and the shoulder straps are only thin if you compare to a modern example. So, and construction wise, it's, it's bomb proof, it's bulletproof, guys. This is not going to fall apart on you in your lifetime. It's actually made by the company Haglofts, which is a company that makes a lot of consumer gear, adventuring gear, clothing, uh, jackets, uh, and outdoor gear, high, high end stuff too. So it comes from a good factory. Okay, so the main concern about this is because it's load bearing construction, if you actually fill out a bunch of gear, is it going to kill you? And this is a question I saw being discussed on the forum, so I thought I would uh, ex explore this uh, issue myself. And I decided to compare this pack against the modern pack, which is quite equivalent to it in size, but has much better load-bearing construction, to see what actually the difference is. Okay, be. so this is the modern pack I'm going to compare it to, which has got the more comfortable, presumably, load-bearing system. So it's got more highly padded shoulder straps, and it has a waist belt, and it also has the chest strap too, if you like to use that. So to be able to compare these two packs, I loaded both packs up with 42 pounds, and I did 10k walks with uh, both of them in successive evenings. So I could actually have a very close comparison between how it felt to carry the LK35 with 42 pounds, 20 kilos, and how it felt to carry a modern pack with modern load bearing equipment, which is about the same size, um, also with 42 pounds. And my conclusion was this, because this is bulletproof, it's cheap, you can get a lot of gear in it. There's no point in being able to get a lot of gear in your pack if you can't actually carry it. And now, I'm no cart horse, I'm not the world's best hiker, and I'm not the best at carrying stuff, but this is my conclusion. This, was not as comfortable for 10k hike with 42 pounds as this modern system. But for $10, it wasn't that much worse. Uh, I mean, let's be straight up about this. This pack is not designed to carry 42 pounds. It's a 30 litre day pack, but I squeezed it in there. So this is pushing the limits of this. So this is not designed to be comfortable with 42 pounds in, but <clears throat> I had to do a comparison somewhere. I would say for $10, this is an absolute, you know, 
pick it, pick one up. I use it just for transporting big tents, large tarps, a bulky equipment because it's basically just a, a canvas bucket on a metal frame. And who doesn't need a canvas bucket on a metal frame for $10? Catch you later, guys.